Hey everyone, thanks for watching my videos. Just wanted to go over uh, my first upgrades, uh, first stage made to the SG1604. This is the awesome 118 scale um, RC with the built in gyro stock, and uh, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, just want to give a shout out to Roadstar499 for a good discussion that we had in from my unboxing comments. I know that a lot of people are already getting these things brushless and doing some crazy stuff with it, but I think one of the major selling points about this was the uh, built-in gyro. And if you go with the brushless system, you need to replace your ESC, uh, which this has a two-in-one, and that would eliminate the gyro. So... Um, in my discussion uh, with Roadstar, uh, we talked about um, actually just upgrading a different brushless motor into here. And uh, the problem with it is uh, this comes with the 380 motor. And um, uh, it'd be awesome to get a 550 in there, which I actually might try to do if I get a second chassis in there. Um, but even if with the 550, I'm not sure if the uh, ESC could take it. Um, but what I did do and um, mentioned was that, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Um, I went ahead and swapped out the stock 380 motor for this 390. Um, shoot, I should have grabbed it. Give me a second. So here's a look of the stock 380 motor right here that I'm holding compared to the 390 motor that I swapped in there. It should be about a 10 millimeter difference. And I have to say, it. Uh, I haven't done a speed run. I did not do a stock speed run. I know there's videos of them out there. Um, but I will get one on this one. But I wanted to share the mods. Another simple um, upgrade you can do that makes a huge difference is to swap over to a lipo battery so this is the battery that comes stock 7.4 volt 1200 milliamp uh, rechargeable lithium ion it does not give you a discharge rate but to, these i think are typically 15 or under um, but i picked these up for my uh, wl toys a series and also for my um, Axial SCX24. So this is LiPo, um, 1500 milliamp, 7.4, 30C discharge, and I think that makes a huge difference. Um, just in, in a battery pack, and they are the same size. So I'll try to find the link on when I where I got these from. Bought them a long time ago, but you can see. The arm fits perfectly, no modifications like I had to do on other RC cars. Um, but yeah, this thing's got some uh, some juice uh, to it now. So I wanted to kind of give a little demo, uh, just wheel speed. You could take a look, and I don't have a comparison, but you know you could see what it's how it is. Um, so let me go ahead and put this forward. So here you go. So you can see uh, it's actually got some torque. It's causing uh, the body to move a little bit. And I know it's not really violent, but uh, I think already with the uh, battery pack upgrade um, and the bigger motor, motor, the thing is I don't know what the, I don't recall what the motor speed uh, on this is. Uh, so I can't verify if it is a faster motor than the 380, but what we definitely know is it is torquier. Um, and that also lets me maintain uh, and keep the, uh, the stock gyro function. So that's something cool. And uh, something I figured out, and if maybe I could show you guys, is how, to, how the gyro function works. So it's above 30% throttle. And you can see... You can see how the front tires are, are moving. So that's pretty cool. That's how you can tell that the gyro function is working on this guy. Above 30% throttle. Um, so one last thing, what you'll need to do the motor swap. Um, all you, you'll need is a 390 motor, which I think I paid probably 
nine or ten bucks for this thing and uh, you'll need your own JST uh, female connector uh, I don't have this uh, soldered on yet because um, I was doing some testing but I got excited and want to share with share it with you guys but here is the motor connector uh, JST two pin give a look at that and so you'll basically solder these onto the new motor unless the motor comes with it but either way you have to switch it over to the connector here or you'll change the connector on the ESC side uh, it's up to you um, but I do have, once I burn this out, uh, I do have a brushless motor set up. I think I'm going to go with a 2845 also, which is what I use in my FY08. Um, and if I feel the need uh, to keep it the gyro function, I'll just stick a Dumbo RC um, gyro receiver uh, and pair it to the transmitter I have. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Um, thank you again, Roadstar499, for the good discussion and uh, what's possible to do for uh, without going brushless for this uh, SG1604. And um, one other thing I might have in mind is I do have a motor mount plate um, that I got for the WL Toys. And what I might do is clean all this uh, off, kind of just dremel it off and make a flat surface. And I might be able to stick a 540 in there, but we'll see how that goes. But anyways, to get to your motor, um, you're going to have to remove uh, all these screws on top, including this one that I have not tightened down. One, two, one, two, three. So five on top. And uh, that'll allow you to pull this arm up. And then on the bottom, you have these two screws, which releases the actual motor mount itself. Uh, and then you can pull out the motor. Uh, pinion screw, 1.5 millimeter uh, set. And then two Phillips holding the motor to the mount. And a very simple swap. Diameter is the same. Length is the difference and I was surprised to see that it looks that much bigger compared to the uh, stock motor so um, pretty cool uh, definitely let me know uh, and share what you guys uh, what builds you guys decide to do oh yeah one more thing I did do uh, oil filled shocks so these are the same oil shocks from the WL Toys A series I only have them on the front right now because I found out that the rear shocks on this are actually longer than the front so I'll need to put a different set on the back but already that makes a huge difference sorry it's not a great surface to demo the shocks on but not complete but anyways this would be considered um, I think I skipped a couple stages I just threw a bunch of parts at it but we'll call this stage one so uh, definitely thanks for watching and uh, you know comments uh share your ideas uh, just like i share mine and uh i love the rc community uh you guys are awesome thanks